Hey Hendrickson, I'm Matthew. And I'm Ms. Alvarado, Associate Principal. And welcome to Hawk News. So Matthew, what's happening at Hendrickson this week? Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Growing up, it wasn't normal to talk about my emotions, my feelings. Being in sports, I always felt disconnected from the team. I feel like I was more in touch with my feelings than other guys. So I took it pretty hard when my girlfriend broke up with me. She was my best friend and the only one I opened up to. I felt like I had nothing. I didn't want to talk to my parents because I thought they would just tell me to get over it. And I felt that if I told my teammates, who were also my friends, they would just see me as weak. I felt like there was nothing left for me in life. I started to wonder what the point of my life was. I decided to go to the school social worker and open up about my feelings. She got me the help I needed and I was able to talk to my parents about it. Now I'm getting better. Talking to a trusted adult was a life-saving decision. Oftentimes I present myself publicly as cheerful and happy, but I've never really been able to show the other side of me. I simply couldn't let the illusion of a lively, outgoing person drop. My parents were squeezing the life out of me. They put a lot of pressure on me to do well in school and be involved in as many school activities as possible. I was so tired. Without any outlet, I just let all those negative thoughts and feelings fester inside of myself. It got harder and harder to keep up the facade. I didn't know what to do or where to go. I definitely did not feel like I could go to my parents. I don't know how they'd react if they found a flaw in their perfect daughter. I started considering suicide as an option to just get away from it all. I remembered some posters I saw in the hall for Suicide Awareness Month, so I called the hotline. Two years after that call, I sometimes fall back into the same habits, but I'm getting better about not needing to be perfect 100% of the time. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among children 10 to 14 years old and the third leading cause of death among people 15 to 24 in the U.S. About 45% of LGBTQ youth and 18.8% .8 of high school students have thought of and considered suicide. If you or someone you know are having thoughts of ending your life, please seek help immediately through a trusted adult. There are also hotlines. The Suicide Prevention Hotline is now 988 or 800-273-8255. Your school social worker and counselors are also a good source of support. Tomorrow needs you. Yes, it's finally here. Got my computer. Let's get it. Now, all right, it's about to be cool. Let me do some work real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What the? Oh my goodness. All right, all right. What time the library closed? Let me go look. <clears throat> the next day. All right, now uh, we're gonna get this checked out. I was trying to do some work and it failed on me. So let, let, let's, let's see what's gonna happen. See a sign up here. Chromebooks, routers come out. 815, 9. It's 12.15. Oh my God, I'm really late. Let me see, let me see if she can help me out real quick. Let's go. Right. All right. Excuse me, Jonathan? Hi, how can I help you? So, I was trying to do work, and my computer just froze up and it stopped working. So I only handle Chromebook issues from 8.15 to 9 in the morning or after school if you're in morning sports. So I can't, count, I can't come no later than that? No, but what you can do if you need to use the computer during class is you can come down here and use one of the ones here in the library. 
All right, thank you so okay, much. Okay, we'll see you later. All right. Oh my gosh, are you 18 today? I am. You have to come with me. Okay. All right, we're here. Why are we at the library? Well, now that you're 18, you can register to vote, and this is where you get information for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, I just turned 18. I was wondering if I could register to vote. I'm so glad you asked. So this coming up Tuesday, September 20th, is voter National Voter Registration Day across the whole nation. And we're holding an event here at Hendrickson in the library all day. I'll be registering people to vote. And in the cafeteria at all lunches, they'll be registering people to vote. I also sent an email to all the seniors who are going to be 18 by November 8th for an invitation to a Google Classroom where I'm posting all kinds of information about how to register to vote, when and where to vote, all kinds of information about the candidates and all that other good stuff. So make sure to check your email. Oh, I got my new shirt. I got a, um, yeah, I better wash it, make sure I put on extra heat so it's looking fresh and clean. Yes, my laundry's done. Ooh, it's a little snug, but it'll work. It's spirit day. Hey girl, oh yeah, hey, can you guys get to class? Wait, what? Oh golly, you got a green, what is that shirt? No, no, <laughs> uh, uh. Fix your face, Todd. My bad. Mr. Garcia would never wear that. Oh my gosh, I have a jacket. Sorry. I don't even know why Mr. Grev is making us follow this dress code when he can't even follow it. Oh, bro. Thanks, dress code. Bye, y'all! I don't even want to know why Mr. Gr <laughs> <laughs> Liar, Liar, girl. Liar, bro. My knees is hurting. Over here. Yeah. Come fully clothed and respectful and be <laughs> Your shirt, your shirt should touch your Midline. your waistline. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Here, Mr. Grab, I got you a new shirt. Extra big. <laughs> That's rude. Why? Why? Cheer up, Mr. Grab, I got you a new shirt. Thanks, dress code. Bye, y'all! <laughs> you got